Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Enter the Gungeon. <laughs> Beat the Gungeon. Be the Gungeon. Date the Gungeon. Wash the Gungeon. Be the Gungeon. I already said be the Gungeon. That's because it's just that important. My hand fell off. Wait. No. Did you? I, I can't. I wasn't crazy, was I? My hand was off my body? Pretty sure my hand was off my body. Anyway, that's what you really want to do. And then to the Gungeon, to beat the Gungeon, you gotta, you gotta take off your hand, you know? That way you can, you know, Mr. Fantastic it and shoot your hand across the room and shoot the people in the face without even being by them. Strats, baby, strats. Anywho. I don't know, I feel like uh, we're on the beginning floor. I got stuff to talk about. That's not the game. I mean, for a little hot moment, just to, just as a smidgen. Oh my golly gee! Because I didn't want to overload yesterday's with the uh, with this kind of stuff. But you know what? I'm gonna talk about this just for a quick moment since it is the first floor. We don't even have our first item yet, unless no, that's not mine. Worth talking about. All right, uh, I stream. Just want, thought I'd you know get a little announcement out there. If you if you're unaware, just to, as a follow up tidbit to what I had. Uh, talked about the other day, which is my second channel, that I stream every Monday and Wednesday at 4 p.m. Central over on twitch.tv slash uh, Retromation. <laughs> what's, my, what's my name? Who am I? Twitch.tv slash Retromation every Monday and Wednesday at 4 p.m. Central. And if you're curious what that time is in your time zone, you can just head on over to that website underneath the... Oh, Boo! Halloween's over, but boo! Underneath the stream, it'll have, uh, it'll have what time I stream converted to your time zone so you don't have to worry about what that means so go check that out it's a fun way to uh, do a little bit of diversification so if the youtube <laughs> bungles up big time you know where else i can be you know uh, we can talk about youtube back end and bungling all we all we want i'm sure we could talk about that forever but we're probably just going to talk about uh probably talk about end of the gungeon I'm a pretty family-friendly channel, so YouTube bungling has pretty much not really been anything that's uh, been directly, directly relevant to me. It's just as a, just as a little clarification there. If you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. You can you can look it up if you want, but I don't need to talk about it here. We got Table Tech Stun. We'll talk about it now. It's just it's not that exciting of an item. It's a good item, but not that exciting of one. Effectively, every time we flip a table, we stun the room. It's, it's not that it's not good, it's just that it's not like, Whoa, baby! Table tech stun! You know, it's just not it, not one of those. It doesn't blow my blow my noodle. Oh my god. Do I want a gun? I kind of want a gun. I said I kind of want a gun. Alright, I feel like that puts me in a spot where I am not going to be going to the sewers. I don't really feel like buying table tech money. It's, it makes sense. It's, it's a good idea probably this early on to buy table tech money. Because uh, it gives you money every time you flip the tables. And it did get buffed in Farewell to Arms. I don't know how strong it is now. But apparently it's like worth worth purchasing early. It's one of those items where it's like its value is clearly boiled down to uh, a statistical uh, factual thing. where Whether or not it's worth picking up or not at a certain time. This, uh, this gun is not actually great for this because we do want to kill one faster. Unless we could kill him at the exact same time, which does not seem like it's happening. We could maybe try to figure out which one it is. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. I've never done... I've never killed him at the same time. I don't know if it's possible. It is! Oh, baby! I've never done that before. I've never done that before. Hot diggity freaking dog. That is pretty darn slick. And as a result, we did actually get two keys. So, you know what? Why not? We will go to the sewers. We'll go to the rat if we can. That's what... That's what I uh, mentioned that we we do here. That's what we do in the Retro Nation. That's the pathway. That is the path. So, uh, I mean, is it the best path? Arguable. It's the path I like. It's the path I like. Arguably, actually not really that arguable. The best path is 
The best path, best path is uh, best path is as many floors as you can clear without dying. You should clear because you get that much money. There's no reason to not do them if you want a strong run and you don't care about how long your run lasts. Me, I'm kind of just like I get bored of the run after an hour. I truly do. That's why. That's why I don't like clone. That's why I uh, I have issues with with roguelikes that get too too long. They gotta be like I don't know, man. Like uh, undermine runs can get to be at the uh, the wildest an hour and a half. But the the thing about that is those runs that get to be an hour and a half are because usually it's like okay, it's because. If I have, uh, I don't know, like the, the weird combo that requires me to spend more time in like special shrine rooms where you can sacrifice things for things. If the run's getting that long, it means that you're having a an OP run. If that run, if it's getting that long, it's because you've decided that you want the run to like, I don't know, get super super OP, and you don't have to take that long. Where in Gungeon, it's like. I, you take long because you go to all the floors. You may or may not be OP. But Undermine, it's like it won't be long unless you're OP. Kind of a thing. And that that's that's an interesting little little tidbit of, of difference between the two. That being said, I don't I prefer all ro roguelikes to be under an hour. Truly. I as a as like a catch-all. I had I got like a weird weird thing oh thing with game length, you know? I, uh, it, it's, it's a big sticking point for me. It's a big, big sticking point. Oops. Probably should have just done this to begin with. Um, like, if it's a story game and it's, like, 90 hours long, fat chance I'm gonna get to it. I, I just, as much as I want to, I talked about Persona 5 a lot in that regard. It's, it's a game where I really, I have it, and I've started it, i I'm only five hours in. And I've been playing it off and on for like a year. And I'm only five hours in. And it's truly, I, I guarantee you, it's because it's 90 hours to beat the game. It's 90 hours to, to finish the story. That's wild. Bonkers. For me. I, I can't, I can't stand, I just can't stand that game length. But it's so stylish and so cool, like, it, it makes me want to try. But a game that's like eight hours, I feel like it's the inevitability of uh, knowing that I can complete it at some point. Like, that's why I love a lot of Nintendo games, because it's just like, they know when to quit, you know? For the most part, they know when to quit. And like, things like Breath of the Wild is, in theory, can be a very long game. But I just played it, I played it until I got bored, and then I beat the boss, and then I stopped playing. And that's... And that's that. Like, I, I like the... Breath of the Wild has the perfect open world loop for me in that regard. Where you technically can go and beat the game whenever you want. In theory. By just, like, if you don't know. Like, there's a place in the center of the map. It's where the final boss is. You can go at any time. It, the, it just gets a lot easier. Uh... Oops. If you go and do these other major quests around the world first. And I did all the major quests and then I went into the middle and then I quit. After I beat the beat the final boss. I like that. That's a nice that's a nice loop for a game that could be really long. I could have spent forever. I could have done every little thing. Could have gotten all the what, eight hundred Korok seeds or something to got get the stupid stupid reward that's not worth it, I, I think people said. I, but I didn't want it. I don't know. It's like, I, I have a problem with a lot of open world games, but Breath of the Wild is one that I actually was able to beat, because it didn't it didn't daunt me in that way. I knew that I knew that I wasn't held prisoner to the ending, you know, in, in a way. And that's a big thing about what I like about roguelikes, because the, the big thing where people think they have a gotcha moment with me, they, they're like, oh, you don't want to play Persona for 90 hours, but Rito, you played Enter the Gungeon for a thousand hours. Got ya! No, <laughs> that's not, no, it's because it's all about pacing, and the thing that I, I've said recently, I've said it on stream, it's, it's, <laughs> no, here's why, Enter the Gungeon is not a game that takes uh, a thousand hours to beat, 
Enter the Gungeon is a game that takes an hour to beat, and you can beat it a thousand times. For me, it's just all about pacing. I want to know what I'm doing. I want to get get to an ending and have my my session sh sessions wrapped up. You know, for example, I, I just want them wrapped up. Oh wait, holy moly! And then, so it's basically like I I played this game a thousand times. I beat this game a thousand times. It's just a it's a super replayable very short game that's all that's all that's how i see it super super replayable very short game want one more shell please and uh and i like that a lot it's a, the pacing of it is is good it's about pacing game roguelikes don't have any filler arguably roguelikes sometimes more often don't have enough uh, you know, meat on the bones in so, in more situations than the fact that they have too little. Where I don't know, a longer game is not always a better game. A longer game might have uh, two good hours and and uh, twenty hours of fluff, twenty twenty hours of of garbage that you don't really that you're not gonna remember, that you're not gonna like. Ooh, this doesn't work. Camera doesn't work. Camera doesn't work when he's underground. I feel like that works on Cannon Balrog. I guess maybe maybe I'm wrong. I'm so lazy that I kind of want to get hit right here. But we would actually lose the health. The fun thing is, if you have excess health on uh, on this boss in the bank, everything like that, and you are the convict, you can damage boost because you get hit. You do the big boost of extra damage. But right now, I have two hearts in the bank. Two hearts in the bank. So, and then I'm missing two hearts, so it doesn't make any sense to take a hit to damage boost. I might take a hit, and if I do, I'm going to pretend that it's to damage boost. Bap, 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 bap. Bap, 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 bap. Bap, 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 bap. All right. We just don't have a lot of items worth, uh, worth going into a deep dive about right now. Oh, mama. Ooh. That's a banger right there. Fun thing, we can show off the uh, the sewers variant. There's no way to take this to the uh, to the future, so that kind of sucks. Is gone. It's done. We don't get to see it ever again. However, this is probably no. It is hands down. It is the most overpowered uh, gun you could possibly have if you need to beat the lich, or if you want to beat the lich. We're not going to the second secret floor. I didn't want to. And uh, that's because the variant on Bullet Hell is actually broken as hell. Hmm. Super, super broken. We'll show you today. Because you better believe your boy is going to use it. It's so, it's so broken. I have this weird thing with, um, with OP items. I talked about it recently with the rat items. Uh, is there anything worth talking about that we got? I mean, I, I guess I've talked about Ghost Bullets a little bit before, but... Ghost bullets are actually a really good item for the value, in my opinion, because uh, whoop, piercing shots is what it gives you. If you if you don't know, piercing shots is what it gives you, and that get, makes it so you have room clear. Like you get immediately get some room clear that you might not have otherwise. We're probably gonna sell stuff to go to the rat. Um, oh come on, bite me. Oh boy, no. I have to. I had to do that. You dirty dog. Oop, oop, oop. Uh, all right. It gives you room clear because you might be able to pierce through enemies and kill a bonus one for the same amount of ammo, which can be really time effective and really ammo efficient. We hardly need hot lead anymore. The fun thing is, with uh, what we got right now, flaming bullets. The uh, the hot lead. Is a guaranteed burn, I thought. I thought. Hold on. Let me check here. Yeah? They're all red so far. They're guaranteed to be red. It might not be guaranteed to be a burn. Maybe that just didn't burn because it's a one-hit kill. <laughs> um, so we got a kind of a cute little combo right here. The way Hot Lead works, you see right... It, this is a bad gun, to really tell. Only the red shots set enemies on fire. You can see it's really unlikely to get a red shot. We went through a whole clip without getting it. 
but the less shots there are in a clip, the more likely it is to activate said fire ability. Since there's only one in here, it's down to being literally every shot. So you look at that. And we have piercing. So what that gives us is a really damaging infinite fire. <laughs> Not infinite fire in the sense that, like, they burn forever, though that does exist. But always firing, piercing shot right here. Turning this into an actually really good gun. Actually a very, very solid gun. I see you. But we need, we need to talk at the, uh, finish talking about the darn ghost bullets. They should be called the ghost bullets, really. Uh, but basically, yeah. It, the big thing is it makes it so you get more value out of your ammo, which can be very effective. Uh, you can help clear rooms faster. Clearing rooms faster because you're shooting more enemies at the same time. Look at that. One shot killed literally everybody. A norm normally, it may or may not have. Um, bup, 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 bup. It's just, it's really clean. It's clean. It turns guns that normally might have a hard time clearing a room quickly and turns them into a room a, uh, a room clearing gun. Not bad, not bad. Ghost bullets, so good. So good. Oops, don't want that. Ooh, what do we want? Thank you. What else we got? Hotlet. We don't need to talk about trash can. Trash can is it's just really bad, but it has some really good synergies. I believe we've talked about that already. We don't need to talk about the synergies because they're just not relevant. We'll talk about them if we uh, if we get them. It's worth having. If it's a free, if it's free, you might as well have it. It has a synergy with junk, which is really easy to get. However, that synergy still doesn't make it worth using, in my opinion. It doesn't make it worth using unless it's your only gun. Even then, I just I like. I rarely will consider th consider using it. It usually doesn't do it for me. Boop. However, the uh, recycling synergy it can get is run-winningly good. If you get that synergy, I believe it's uh, with the star pew. The star pew and the, uh, the trash cannon, you effectively, you never have to use another gun again on the whole run. So that's a pretty big deal, you know? Chicken flute! Kr -kr -kr -koo! Kr -koo -kr -koo! Chicken flute is uh, pretty darn slick. Chicken blocks bullets. When the chicken hits, gets hit by enough bullets, it does a chicken party. Uh, it bops them like mad there. Oh, what am I doing? Does this get the rock as it does? So hopefully we'll see here. I don't know if that counts. That does indeed count it as it being hit. So enemies that are kind of, bosses that are kind of more bullet hell-esque, it's really, really good on. Because it's going to get hit a lot and thus do a lot of damage. So I mean, if you really can without getting uh, harmed, it's worth it. See, right there, look at, that's all the damage it's doing. That's all the chickens. It's just free damage. You got to think of it, like, even when it doesn't look like a lot of damage from familiars, you have to think about, okay, it's one item, though. Think about the value that, um, well, think about the value Amulet of the Pit Lord gives you. <laughs> no, but think about, like, the DPS upgrade, something like, uh, Rocket Bullets gives you. Rocket Powered Bullets gives you whatever, this, just a small-ish percentage. I shouldn't have done that. Small-ish percentage. And, um, oh my god, I'm not going to get enough, are I? All right. I'll sell that. We'd have to sell, I can sell the Trank gun. I shouldn't have, I, I goofed up. I goofed up by buying that key. Oh, whoops, I should have sold this first. What am I talking about? I was talking about the uh, familiars. I'll talk about that again in a second. It's, a, it's an important note. All right. Familiars, uh, they're fantastic, and you should prioritize them in a lot of scenarios if you can, because compare a ten like you versus a boss. Can compare yourself like getting a five percent, ten percent damage up to the amount of damage that the familiar does. Not to mention the fact that this familiar does block bullets as well. Super, super, super effective. All right, 
Monk. And it's a big deal. It, it really can add up. Ones like R2G2, Super Space Turtle. Pretty darn crazy the amount of value they can add for one item. It's just the fact that you... It kind of happens without you thinking about it, and it's not as uh, tangible. It's not as tangible, so it doesn't feel as exciting in a lot of scenarios. But I love them. I love I love a good familiar. Love a good familiar. I will buy Baby Good Mimic at all scenarios because he is fantastic, even on his own, even without copying any other familiars. Such a good deal for one key. Such a good deal. Also, if he copies Junkin, I mean, that's crazy. If we got him today, that'd be kind of fun, getting a double cuckoo. Because unlike us, the Turtle Problem one. Yeah. The Turtle Problem copy that I was talking about before. You get the value. You do get the value. It does uh, twice as many chickens that might get hit. Twice as many chickens that might get hit. Sounded like the start of a, a little rhyme. A little rap or rhyme or something there. But I don't got anything. I'm not gonna not gonna dare to rhyme rhyme that there. M16 is quite good. Double vision is quite good. Wish I had a shield or a blank there. No big deal. And we don't have any way to deal damage to ourselves, and it wouldn't matter anyways, because we would need a sh we would need a shield and a way to damage ourselves. Which we don't have. What up? Really, really want to get the master round from this. Every time I get this trap room, every single time, is because the the pit is so close to the door, closer than any other room in the game. That it's so rare. It's the only room, like in the whole game. That you actually have to make sure you don't walk too far forward. You know, like, the reaction time with movement speed up out of combat is... You don't need great reaction time, but it's like... It's like a, it's like giving a, yourself a your first quick time event in a, in a game that you didn't realize had quick time events. You know? It's like, what, what if in the middle of, uh, of Enter the Gungeon... A thing prompt a prompt just said uh, you know like press the P button on your keyboard even if you they gave you enough time for a normal human to respond like the fact that you weren't expecting a prompt <laughs> you're just not gonna get it in time you're just not going to you're just not gonna cuz you're like what I when have I ever needed that oh my god ring of the resourceful rat please Ring of the Resourceful Rat is a god tier. God tier item. Because it is a free. I'll tell you what, if you're going to if you're going to the Lich and not going to the pass, Ring of the Resourceful Rat is a free S tier passive. And I'll show you how if we can get it. But basically you can trade the bullet that can kill the past for a free S tier item. And uh, that's amazing. Because it's free. Because if, if you're not going to the pass, you don't need the bullet that can kill the past. It's just that easy. Not to mention the fact that you can uh, trade other items that you don't think are worth it. Or you can just stockpile your trades and uh, continue to trade the bullet to kill the pass into an S tier item until you get the S tier passive that you truly, truly want. Alright. The bottle... The bottle is okay. I think it's I think it's not, not great, not bad. You can store hearts, you can store ammo in it. We can chest friendship. We can get some value out of that. If we can generate enough keys, then that's pretty darn good. If we don't generate enough keys, uh, at least we get extra health, maybe extra junk. Funny situation where the crossbow is actually probably our our best gun right now. Arguable with the camera, because camera is actually pretty darn solid. Room wide clear you can do from behind the table. Can't uh, can't argue with the fact that that's good. So like in theory we could bottle this up, and then uh, and shoot, go over here, shoot two more shots, whomp, whomp, and then drink it, drink the drink the ammo. So there's it's there's value in it. 
I use it way more for ammo than anything else. It's not it's not a god tier thing or anything. It's it's fine. It's fine. And you can use it if you have I feel like cuz the thing is for new players I'm trying to think about it for new players too like it's only good for ammo, holding on to, holding on to it until you uh, get a better time to use it, which is a tangible use for it, for sure. Uh, the other use is uh, saving health if you have excess health on one floor and taking it to the next floor where you might not. I feel like new players don't usually have excess health, though. If, you, if you're having a hard time with the game, you probably don't have excess health. Otherwise, you probably wouldn't be having a hard time with the game if you always have more health than you need. So therefore, uh, you know, like, it's kind of like, uh, yeah, just save your ammo for a rainy day. Like, bottle it and use it when you're out of ammo. Instead of, like, say we have 30 shots left in the crossbow and it was a full one. We would we could wait 30 shots that way. We could wait 30 whole shots. You could think of it like, uh, yeah, an ammo fill plus 30, 30 then. Or something, you know? I would like to go up and press the dang drill, you stinky, dirty fool. Stinky, dirty fool. I'm like really not loving our guns today. Fat line is fine. Like it's all these guns are nice for shooting like in behind cover baby places. I, geez, I don't know. I don't love him. And it, oop. And I, oop. Does not look like, um, yeah, we don't have enough for, we're still in the source for that. We don't have enough for the scrambler either, which both of those facts eat me up inside. Can't eat up. Eat me up inside. Save me. Because uh, scrambler is god tier. You know, if you pick up scrambler, you don't need it for anything else. It is another gun, like, 63 shells for a gun that will make it so you don't need another gun for the whole entire run. Pretty darn good value. Ring of the Resourceful Rat, 93 shells for um, a, a, a free random S tier item and the fact that you can trade other things as well. Pretty god tier. Basically, if, you, if I get it on first floor, it makes it so every floor you get the ability to drop an item... And uh, the rat will trade it out for a new one of the same tier and and style. Like, so it's a passive. You get a passive active. You get an active. Um, so, therefore, if I got it on the first floor, you get one one for the first floor, second floor, third floor, fourth floor, fifth floor. You get the fifth floor. You can keep on trading the bullet that can kill the pass five times. So, you basically, you get, you get your choice out of five, uh, you know, five S tier items. Not directly your choice because you don't... You might be like, ah, I think I want something else. I think I can get something better. Maybe you don't. So, like, that can happen. What am I doing? Bonk, bonk. You know what? The best thing might be the, uh, the rat gun. So, we went up once. I might have just bungled it. A lot happening here. Not liking it with the piercing, to be honest. We didn't get the one master round I really wanted. Don't have a key. Up, up, down. This might be our best gun. Which is... Not usually my favorite thing to say. Like, that's not a... That's not a great best gun. Maybe it's crossbow. No, it's probably crossbow. I mean, fat line's not garbage. Down right. Bottle's coming in handy like more than it ever has. We're gonna blow these guys up in our direction. But every room we're getting value out of it. It's wild. First room we didn't there. Please, please, gun, I beg of you. Please, gun, I beg of you. 
Okay, that one just uh, bopped himself. That's exciting. Fingers crossed. Did I do it right? I did it right. All right. What a world. Oh, you can drop them now? Hold up. Hold up. I, that's why I used to hate the bottle. That's why I used to... Hold up. When did they change that? That's so good. When did they change that? Because now we can do... Okay, so we have to be missing ammo? Why can't I... Why can't I? I mean, it's fine, I guess. It's, fi it's fine. But why can't I pick put that one in the bottom? Weird. Weird, 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 weird. All right, well, we get to take this with us. So the bottle's actually coming in handy today, for sure. For sure, for sure. Uh oh Okay, well, there we go. Bottle value. This is not a good day to fight the rat. I should have showed you guys the, uh... Oh, pardon my, uh, my uh, pun, but show you the, the cheese that we could do to the rat. Oh my god. What is happening to me today? Bad, bad, bad. Maybe it's the fact that I'm required to fight the rat with the uh, crossbow. Maybe that's messing me up. Alright. There we go. Good deal. That's that's fine. We can beat the next phase. It doesn't, doesn't really matter. So I feel like um, that line will actually work pretty well against the big boy. You cannot go out to pick up the extra, extra health, but you can push the heart containers into the rat room. They become invisible in the doorway, and you can actually pick them up again. So we could have cheesed. I just I've never needed to in forever. Yeah, fat line's working. Getting uh, I, I get, feel like I'm getting wrecked though. Like I'm just. Playing pretty, uh, not great. Fat line's putting in some fat work here, though. He might be able to kill his, uh, whatchamacallit. His little arm cannons. Oh, that was close. Good work, though. Oops. Oops. I have to go back for that. Oh boy. Alright, good deal. We do have a blank left that I might wanna use now. Yeah, it's just not a great not a great little thing there. Alright, out of ammo. Alright, chicken. Do your thing! Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo! What if we... What kind of damage is that doing? It's like, fine. It's so slow. And we can't gun drop it. Yeah, this is like, uh... We actually are doing really not great for weapons today. We did break his arm. On the, uh, on the right there. And there's on the left. So now, uh, woo. He lost a couple moves there. We didn't take nearly enough damage to, uh, be worried. And because this is the rat, we are going to be at full health after this. Battle standard. I think that ups the damage of the... Oh, really? I think that ups the damage of the chicken. So that could be pretty slick. We don't need to wait for the counter there. Fat bullets, I'm into that. Damage up, but it does decrease your ammo capacity. We can... Really? We, we can maybe uh, nullify the negativity of it, though, by... Um, by uh, having the bottle there. So that's some. A little some, some. I'm not going to be a hero today. Countering that. Gonna wait for the punches. Or that. Not gonna bother. He's gonna get dizzy. 
Might as well play it safe. We just need one more. We can even get a counter there for free. Easy peasy. All right, we got two fat, but what? Two fat bullets? What? Two fat bullets? Two fat bullets? The fattest bullets in town? Oh! My god! This is not supposed to be a thing. You're not supposed to be able to get to... My guess is because we didn't... The items didn't technically drop yet, so they didn't remove them from the pool? Is that the, the truth? That's wild. wild hopefully we get like a good gun though as i always say though we are only gonna open this up until we get the boots it's all i take it's all i take otherwise it just gets too easy i could pick them all up and not use them i could pick them up on and sell them all i'm just not worried about it i don't need the game to be any easier <laughs> i'm not worried about it but if you want to, pick them all up. They're very, very OP. The uh, the cheese wheel especially. Wow. All right. So, yeah. Damage quite a bit up. Ammo capacity quite a bit down. Also gun uh, just, uh, shots. Guess what? They're they're big. Did you can you tell? Fun thing if we uh, run out of ammo with this. I got to remember to do Whoop. This could be great. But, uh, wow. I can't, I can't get over that. What a fun item to get two of. What an absolutely perfect item to get two of. Whoop. Sure. Show me the biggest Molotov. Ooh, it's the giant... It's a giant green Molotov. Doesn't shoot in any bigger of a radius. So the green Molotov does permanent fire. Enemy steps in it, they get that green fire, they're permanently... Oh my god, I did not even see the other enemy. Did not even see him. Then they get set on fire permanently. Does not apply to bosses. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do it now. Uh, what do we want? What? Just bear with me. Bear with me. Actually, we killed the rat, so we can just leave it. We killed the rat. So the rat will no longer come to steal stuff. Because guess what? He's freaking dead, man. So let's just unload this gun. It's another good reason to kill the rat. If you don't know why I'm doing this, bear with me. You're gonna, you're gonna like it. You're gonna like it. Alright. Bop, 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 bop. Ooh, good. We got the minibus. He's a great ammo sink. Whoop. Pretty pleased that even with the uh, the ammo capacity down times two, we're not having too many issues here. At all. In fact, it's taking longer than I want to run out of ammo. Bap, 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 bap. Okay. Surprised he lasted that long. <laughs> Not even worth it. Ooh, we can do it. We can do it twice now. All right. Well, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's go back to the other room. Haven't been able to do this in forever. Okay. So here we go. Rip. Bop. Bwamp. I have a very large uh, gun. Did you know that? Could you tell? We can do that with two things. Ooh, I'm going to do it with the camera. I'll do it with the camera next. Getting a lot of damage up with the camera is actually really, really slick. You can probably tell. Room-wide AoE damage up. Kind of a good thing. Whip, whip, whip. 
Bullet time is very good. Very, very good. Very, very strong. Boop, boop, boop. And... <laughs> Let me take your picture! It's like an old school camera. <laughs> ah, baby. Can't see anything. My camera's too big. <laughs> My camera's too large. Ah. Oh, it's so good. Every ammo drop is a new opportunity for a big, big gun. Oh my god. Oh my god. Sure. I'm just gonna blindly do it. Give me a fun synergy. It's a nice synergy. It's not not the best though. Sigaroons. Take damage to get coolness. It's, they're uh it's a good idea. It's a good idea if you have the excess health. Because coolness, if you forgot, decreases the cooldown of your active item. If you got bullet time and reduce our coolness, that's like that's a recipe for an OP run right there. Um, but in addition, the coolness does also give you more end of room drops. You know, all the all the stuff you need to sustain yourself through the course of the run. So a lot of coolness is really, really good. You're basically, it's kind of like the uh, sacrifice it now to get value later kind of thing. The fat line's like already big. All right. Wait, we can put it in the bottle. So yeah, why can we put this one in the bottle? I don't understand. We're little up. Just don't want to. I guess I don't want to waste the ammo. I guess. Ooh, working. We're working pretty well. The piercing effect and everything. It's not bad. Not bad. Should have been using the camera though. Can kill them all at the same time. All right. Yeah, not gonna kill them all at the same time. Oh, stupid, stupid, stupid. Hit. Huh. Hit. Huh. I need it. Huh. <laughs> Can't see any of the bullets. <laughs> Can't see any of the bullets. My gun's in the way. All right. Got a key for this. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. Alright, we can't buy the bullet time, can we? Oh we can! God, that's so dirt cheap. It's, that's it. That's crazy. Crazy. Also the Ruma. Alright. We are out of here. On to the next. We didn't get that one either. We, we're Oh boy. I kind of want to do it to the chamber gun. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Bam! 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 Gee, where'd my gun go? Man, I just don't you just hate it when you drop your gun and you can't find uh can't find where it is? Where is that gun? I dropped it in this room somewhere. Man. Should be an indicator over it or something. Neat. Neat. <laughs> oh, Pokemon, really? What do we got? What do we what do we pick up? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Neat! Neat! Why did I shoot down? I was definitely aiming up. Oh man. Ghost bullets plus small top. They don't mix. All 
All right. All right, all right, all right. Giant gun bug. Giant gun bug. Big gun bug. Gotta love it. It's been in the game forever, like since the beginning. And uh, I'm so glad that it's never been fixed. It's the best thing ever. A lot of people watching this probably know about it already, but if you didn't know about it, like, hell yeah. Like, I'm so glad to share it with you right now. Discussion item of the day, everybody. I know it's really late. Discussion item of the day. Talk about what you think about the art, the, uh, the Ammonomicon entry, the balance. We're talking about your boy Fat Bullets. Of course we are. Of course we are. Hot ones. <clears throat> Believe it makes it so... The final shot... Wait, what is it? I can't remember. What is the hot one synergy? It's the synergy with... Uh, <laughs> Hot, hot, uh, hot wings and hot questions and even hotter wings. All right, here we go. What do we want to empty? I wanted to empty this. Whoa. Okay, we can't get hit. Can't get hit. We'll run out. I wanted to empty this out. Oh. Oh, it's crazy. Oh, ho, ho, it's crazy. You know. Never believe it's not so. Hello. Sorry. Don't mind me. Uh, we'll come back and buy the Devolver because we haven't picked it up. Just get it filled in our ammo Nomicon. God, I love, I love this variant of the chamber gun. It's probably my favorite looking weapon. For, uh, for the chamber gun. Obviously, gotta love the final bullet hell one, which you will see. If you don't know what it is, you'll see why it's so OP. It's like the craziest. Oh, frightful challenge complete. Hell yeah. Oops. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right. Just holding down the left mouse button. Eventually, y'all y'all will die. It is making it hard to see some things. I'll admit. Bullet hell slows down time. It slows down the enemies, but not you. It used to slow down both you and the enemies, making it garbage. Not garbage, but just like not fun to use at all. But now it only slows down the enemies, making it very strong. All right. Woo! It is the forge. It's the size of the actual forge itself. All right. What do we got here? Oh yeah, pick up the devolver. The de devolver. The devolver is actually not bad anymore. It used to be really, really bad. It transforms enemies into uh, into arrowkin. Chance to polymorph them into arrowkin. It's not great, but it's not bad anymore. It's not, uh, in fact, no, it's pretty, it's pretty good. Because it, it does it pretty reliably, is the thing. We don't need no key. It does it pretty reliably, which is important. Bop, 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 bop. So you can count on the fact that it will polymorph from, for the most part. But it does polymorph him into an enemy that still needs to be killed. But it makes him, it turns him into a really weak one. That is basically uh, something you can ignore. Hey! Uh, if you don't know, table tech, uh, we, we, it does a flip table. It does a little AOE fire effect. However, the synergy makes it so when we flip the table, the fire effect, it's that big. It's that big. It's that big. It's crazy. We're gonna use it on bullet hell. But not really even. Not really, even. Alright. Here we go. Can we use a different gun? I guess we can use, uh, can use the judge. 
Bad, 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 bad. Oops. Whoop. Pretty good damage. All right. I mean, the forge is just <laughs> forge chamber gun. It's really good against that. Also, it's just I just like it so much. Just look at it. Okay. Just gotta worry about when time starts up again. That's all. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Get him, chickens. All right. A little bit of judging. A little bit of judging. Don't mind if I do. We should have saved our uh, bullet time. Whoop! Stop! <laughs> oh no! My health that I care deeply about. We should have actually used the uh, pulse cannon because with the synergy we could have got hit and uh, damage boosted like crazy. Done, done. Ding, ding, done. Alright, no master round. Not that I deserve one. I'm playing like a goofball and a half. Can we fill up the ammo? I mean, we don't... We can't, but we also don't need to. Because there should be a bug. Right here. The bug should still exist. As far as I'm aware. We're going down to the next floor holding it should fill it up it should fill it up fingers crossed if not we'll be fine yeah there we go it, it's full it full so this is the uh bullet hell chamber gun let me show you why it's good that's why it's good look at that do you believe me? It used five shells out of 400. Do I need to show you one more time why this gun is good? Here, I'll show you. Maybe you didn't catch it. Maybe it's, a, you know, like a little bit like that. It's a pretty good gun. It's a pretty good gun. <laughs> That's why I love the chamber gun. Not because of all the other forms, but... I mean, I do love all those other forms, but, like, the fact that you can completely trivialize the entirety of this floor is crazy. We can leave that and just come back for it. We can leave that and come back for it because we killed the rat this run, so it just doesn't matter. So now we can effectively just hold down left mouse button. We sh I mean, we shouldn't just do that, though. No reason to. Next. Next. Hello, this room is taking too long. Next. What if this is the right way? It looks kind of like a loop. It looks kind of like a loop. That's a loop. That was the biggest threat of the whole uh, whole floor so far, is the fact that we did get set on fire there. That was very scary. Okay, thank you. You saved me. You saved me a little bit of walking. Just the fact that it's 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 like camera on like complete complete steroids. It's insane. It's crazy. Gotta love it. So, uh, yeah, if you see Chamber Gun, buy Chamber Gun. It's so good. So good. Obviously. But it's just, it's one of those guns where it's like, it's so OP, but I actually don't mind getting it still because it's only OP on one floor. And it's my, honestly, I'll be honest. Honestly, I will be honest. 
<laughs> it's uh, it's my least favorite floor. I don't love clearing bullet hell. Thank you. Kind of a useless item for right now. Play well, get health. I, I don't think I need to worry, worry about dying at all, but thank you. Holy mole! Holy mole! Yes, yes. You can actually teleport out of the uh, the lich fight after the first phase. Completely fine. I believe after the second phase too, if you're fast enough. I don't remember. Bullet time's great because it doesn't stop the. Uh, doesn't uh, keep going with the uh, boss damage cap, which is super nice. You can kind of subvert the boss damage cap in a way. All right, all right, all right. So this is the... Oh, we got health. We played well, got health. Okay, we're not going to make it. We should have... We should have... Yeah, we should have grabbed the other one. Oh, well. Not worried about it. If we have to use an actual gun on the final boss, so so be it. Technically, it's probably a better like value to tap shoot, especially after we get hit and we get the damage boost. Probably is a better value per ammo. I mean, it almost definitely is. I'm just not worried about it, though. Nor should anyone be. Ooh, stretching. Ooh, Ounsu. Patreon supporter supreme. Uh, your power, your power gave me this, gave me this run. I felt it. I want to do a little dance around that. Yeah, we're going to have enough ammo for this anyways. Oh, he lied. Meow. Neat, neat, neat. Don't hit me. I'm just trying to take your picture. Neat. Oh, get him, chickens. Oh, mama. That run was, um... It was pretty good. It's pretty good. It's a pretty good run. Pretty good run. I like that run. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We should got a decent amount of credits as well. We did fight the rat. We fought the, um... We went to the sewers as well. So we should get a decent chunk. We'll see, we'll see. Bump the arm, run around two. Dungeon window, whisper one truth. It should be commando twice. I mean, I'm happy to unlock it twice, I guess. I'd be happy to have two of them. But you cannot stack guns. 28. Why did I only get 28? <gasps> My son has been freed! God, Doug just has some of the best items. He's got the uh, the A, G, and D items, doesn't he? Or wait. Yeah, A, G, and D? It'd be either A, G, and D or Supply Drop, so I think it's A, G, and D. Anyway, that is going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Extreme extra special thank you to Ounsu for supporting at the Go Team Gungeon tier on Patreon. If you want to help out, I am doing this full time. That support over there is a huge reason why. Thank you. Thank you. Patreon.com slash See you next time. Bye bye.